John, you're saying you've added 256 gigabytes 5050 to your Fire Stick 4K Max. Now it stores apps on both system and USB and all updates say no space, even if only about two gigabytes of five is used. Um, yeah, this is an issue that you are going to have. If you've got external storage added to your Fire Stick, if you've got Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7, you can add external storage and you can install more applications to your external storage. However, there are some limitations and there are some complications that come along with that. One of those which John has discovered um, and is asking a question about, if that application that is on your external storage requires an update, you will get a message appear on screen to say that there's no space available. Even when it's quite obvious that there's plenty of space available, you will get that error message no matter what, unfortunately. What you have to do is either move the application from your external storage to your internal storage, update the application, then move it back to your external storage, or you have to uninstall the application and install the new updated version. Those are the only two ways around it as far as I'm as far as I'm aware. So yes, that is an issue with added storage. I'm not saying that adding extra storage to your Fire Stick is a guaranteed perfect solution to all of your storage needs. This definitely is an issue. And like I said, as far as I know, those are the only two workarounds there aren't any other ways around it as far as I know. Did you know that I also have a very useful website where you can find even more Fire Stick information, help and tutorials. You can find a huge app library that is simple to use and you can download almost any app from my website right onto your Fire Stick using the downloader app. You'll also find video tutorials, help and advice on other streaming matters that you won't find from me on YouTube. So make sure you check out firetvsticks.com and bookmark it so you can always go back and check for the latest news. You can also sign up to my newsletter that will keep you up to date on all of my latest video releases, news and how-to articles delivered right to your inbox.